you're this perp and you know i wasn't going to make one of these videos but then i thought to myself hey why not this is my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2020 and maybe if this does well i might just drop my top 10 most anticipated shows to come out this year or two maybe who knows but before I get to this hit video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new, if this is your first time checking me out, because I drop a shit ton of content and I got a shit ton more coming. Uh, hit that sub button, definitely help me get to 1K, try to get to 1K this year, I'm very close, I can feel it. Follow me on Twitter at PerpMinded420, and let's get right into this list, starting out with number 10 bad boys for life now i'm going to go see this movie thursday night yeah i'm gonna go see this thursday night and i'll have a review up uh right after i go see it so definitely stay tuned if you're curious to find out what i think about the movie but you know it's bad boys 3 uh if anybody's a fan of the first two that were directed by michael bay you know this this movie has a lot riding on it. I'm very nervous about this movie, the placement and just the direction it's going. There's not that not been that much marketing for this movie, which is kind of a red flag, but I'm hoping to just get some type of entertainment out of this movie in general. Hopefully I don't walk out disappointed. Let's go to number nine, shall we? Number nine, I have Godzilla vs. Kong. Now God vs. Godzilla vs. Kong, I'm expecting this to be a straight up popcorn flick nothing too serious hopefully we don't get too much human interaction in this movie just let kong and godzilla do their thing throughout this movie i'm liked uh godzilla king uh and the king of monsters for the most part i know a lot of people were mixed on it but i'm extremely excited about this movie it seems a little bit quick but you know it's all cg cg and shit and whatnot so it, it should be easier for them to crank this movie out but this is why i picked at number nine godzilla versus kong it should just be an epic dope popcorn flick that people could just sit back and enjoy and i think it's going to be something to watch now let's get to number eight and it's conjuring the conjuring three now this has been the long waited sequel from The Conjuring 2. You know, we have Annabelle Homecoming, uh, The Course of La Rona, and just this Conjuring universe is very dope. I like where they're going with it, how they're making it their own little shared universe, which you don't normally see in horror movies. But the way they do it is very interesting. I can't wait to see what Ed and Lorraine Warren are going to be facing off with in this film it's definitely up there um can't wait to see where the future of the conjuring universe goes after this movie it should be really exciting and i can't wait speaking of horror movies my number seven pick is a quiet place part two i love the first movie back in what was it 2018 yeah that ended up being on one of my favorite movies of 2018 list um was a, a surprise you know it was a different different tone different um perspective on how you look at horror without uh using sound and just i just really like the idea of a quiet place and just the universe i can't wait to explore even more now let's get to number six because this might be shocking to some black widow black widow you know i'm still looking forward to i know a lot of people are like why isn't this higher on your list uh, you know i'm just not excited for it like i'm still hyped to go see this you know i'm just not hyped about the mcu as a whole you know scarlett johansson should have been got this movie last year it would have made more sense to put this in between infinity war and endgame but you know I digress it's it is what it is you know black widow is at number six i'm just hoping that this ends up being a, a dope movie entertaining movie for all we're just gonna have to wait and see now let's get to the top five this should be fun number five coming to america two 
Now, Eddie Murphy has been killing it lately ever since he's coming back into like the spotlight with Dolomite Is My Name, one of my favorite movies of last year. So hopefully Coming to America does not disappoint. I'm looking forward to this. We've been missing out on some classic comedy, some classic just comedy over in general. We've get, be getting these lame ass PC type of comedy. So this would be a breath of fresh air. And I cannot wait to see where they go with the King of Zamundo. So moving on to number four, My Hero Academia, Heroes Rising. Man, this season My Hero has been really dope to me. I know a lot of people haven't really liked this season it was kind of slow yeah it started off slow but it's picked up tremendously i think and they gave us one of the best episodes so you know watching this trailer for this new movie it's got me excited um it looks way better than the first one the first one was cool i like the theater experience of role but you know the first one was pretty generic didn't really feel the villain too much but this villain nine looks like he's going to be sick the animation looks like it's going to be sick in this i cannot wait this comes out next month in the states so really looking forward to that moving on to number three we got tenant new christopher nolan movie starring your boy denzel's son and he was also in the black klansman last year was it last year or the year before that i think it was the year before that with the black klansman um this is a big move for him so i'm really curious to see what christopher manola is going to bring to the table is this going to connect to the movie inception that would be a first that would be really interesting but nonetheless like i think this is going to be an epic movie and christopher nolan's going to knock it out of the park number two halloween kills now this is going to be the sequel to the 2018 movie that came out and that was one hell of a ride i can't wait to see where this story goes with laurie strode and her family and just mike myers what they do with this character because i really think they reinvented the franchise with the 2018 movie so it's going to be really really dope to see where they go with the whole franchise as a whole looking forward to it i think it's going to come out sometime in uh october obviously but number one is obviously wonder woman wonder woman 84 you know um wonder woman 84 is my most anticipated movie of 2019 the first one i thought was a breath of fresh air some people are mixed with it but me i think this was in a step in the right direction for just comic book movies and just DC as a whole. Um, I'm very curious to see where they take Diana's character from here. Um, how this this is going to tie into the modern day. What what's going to happen after this? Whether what are going to be some repercussions? You know, um, how is Steve Trevor still alive? It, a lot of questions about this movie I, i'm just really interested to see i think it's going to make the most money out of all the movies that are going to come out this year but these are my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2020 uh i know your list might be different um might not line up with mine but let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this list you think it's fair um would you change anything you know this is my personal list though you're like i said yours might be different i'm curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below but till next video i will check y'all out later peace the problem is that people live for other people you know that's why it's anti-dog because it's like people live their life according to what someone else should say but yeah, I had, to, I had to just lock in. A lot of people don't want to work. They want they want point B, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand, though, that it's like, yo, you really got to do all this, though, to get there. Are you down for that, or you just, you just want to be on the jet?